And, and then there is this business of the moral law. And this is kind of the frontier right now in, uh, uh, in neurology. The, um, one of the, the great developments in, uh, in recent years, and it's sometimes exaggerated and used for things that it's not really relevant for, but, uh, but a, a remarkable invention is so-called functional magnetic resonance imaging. Now, magnetic resonance imaging has been around for a good many years. The physicists brought that one about, and, uh, uh, and it uh, allows you to look at the chemistry of the body in a, uh, in a different way. And it, ultimately, they began to scan the body and, uh, and look for tumors and this kind of thing. Um, but functional magnetic resonance imaging looks at the changes taking place, and it looks primarily at the brain in three dimensions and whenever whatever the person is doing the part of the brain that does handles that and our brain is divided up into parts that do all kinds of things that whatever they are thinking of that part of the brain lights up so if they're uh, if they're trying to find their way to the, uh, to, uh, to the Bethesda Library, this, there's a certain region in the brain that helps us find our way around. Uh, that's our, uh, our, our map center, and, uh, and so forth. And with that, and, and, and clever enough questions, a number of people are attempting to find out what do we instinctively think? All animals have instincts. We're no different than the others in that regard. Um, and, and what do those instincts tell us to do? What, what, what is our behavior governed by? They come up generally with a list. On, uh, you can arrange these in a lot of ways. Um, but generally, it comes down to, to kind of five important things. That, uh, uh, that are instinctive moral principles. Um, the, um, the reciprocal ethic is it's apparently the most important of these, and, uh, and all of them agree on this. And uh, the reciprocal ethic is just the golden rule. Um, and uh, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. We say it in English. Uh, uh, but as a matter of fact, and in, in, uh, in, the, in the biblical version, uh, but in fact, every religion, every major religion, has something like the golden rule. They all have a reciprocal ethic of some sort. Um, then there is the uh, an inst it is instinctive to protect the weak. It is, uh, it is instinctive to be loyal to the group. Now, some of these are good, and some of them have implications that aren't so good. Uh, uh, loyalty to the group uh, uh, leads to a lot of terrible things that go on in the world. Um, respect for authority, well, uh, yes, 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 but not blind respect. Uh, and, and finally, unifying rituals, you know, just sitting around the campfire and singing kumbaya or whatever it is you do. Uh, these are important to humans, and we have to recognize that. I mean, this is trying to tell us who we are and why we are the way we are, and that's the really important question. Um, well, there are a lot of things that, uh, uh, that humans do, and one of them is everybody prays. I mean, I have to admit, even atheists pray. Um, they, uh, uh, 
you, you, you can't really help it. When the, uh, uh, when, when the pressure's on, uh, you find yourself trying to cut deals. You know, if you make this happen, I'll do this. And uh, uh, so this is, this is a pretty natural reaction. Um, so the Templeton Foundation put up a couple of million dollars to do a huge study to see whether prayer is effective. Um, now, many people had tried such studies in the past. Uh, mostly they were small studies and people had an axe to grind and uh, uh, then you could predict how it was going to come out and they, they were just bad science. Um, but they put in charge of this study, named to head it, was Herbert Benson. Now, I don't know how many of you know that name, but a lot of you probably know the book on the left, The Relaxation Response, one of the best-selling books of all time. Uh, by Herbert Benson, M.D., who is, a, uh, uh, is on the Harvard faculty and, uh, and is also an independent institute. And the relaxation response is about meditation. Um, and prayer is, in many cases, a sort of meditation. Uh, this is meditative behavior, if you will. And, uh, uh, and he wrote this book, The Relaxation Response, in which he does not mention religion. Uh, and it sold like crazy. Uh, and by my physician friends, tell me it works. Uh, and I can teach it to you in about 10 seconds. Uh, all you got to do is uh, uh, is focus on something, a line out of a song, anything you like, but concentrate just on that and blank everything out around you and just focus your mind on that one mantra over and over and over <coughs> and, um, and your heart rate slows down, your blood pressure drops, uh, uh, your, uh, uh, your brain waves flatten out, uh, and apparently it's good for you. When uh, 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 you, it, it controls blood, blood pressure for people that have a problem, uh, they can just meditate a few times a day, and this takes care of things, uh, or often does, and, uh, and so it's, it, it seems to have value. <clears throat> 